Today we are going to make a review about a mobile 3D scanner. The scanner is made by Riverpoint. It's quite handy and small and it comes with a tripod stand, a very small tripod stand and also with the USB 3 to USB 2 cable. Uh, the other accessory contains the provided model which is made up in totally white and an automatic turntable. This automatic turntable is quite good in speed and as far as the white model is concerned so this is quite uh, detailed and I'm not so sure whether the scanner can scan this this much details properly but the carvings and the burst is uh, quite detailed so I just put this on a turntable and let's try to adjust the proper angles to scan the whole scanner is quite small and quite portable which is very unique uh, and i must say that i have experience of using many scanners but this one is quite good so coming towards the handy scan which is a built-in software comes with the product and this software interface is quite easy to understand so firstly uh, let's have some time to adjust the proper angles to scan so that we won't be able to miss any details once the scan uh, has been started, it asks you about that what kind of a body you are scanning. So let's hit a scan and uh, the green portion says that uh, the scanning is going very well and it is actually capturing all of the details starting from the back of the ear and back of the head. This is getting each and every detail in a proper manner, but I am not so sure about the top. I think so the top part is missing so for that particular thing i think so that we need to lift up a scanner a little bit to capture all of the details on the top bar it's it is actually saying that the distance is quite good yeah now after lifting up the scanner a little bit it is actually getting all of the details so i just uh, run the scan for a couple of frames so I think so near to 500 would be more than enough to capture all of the details provided in the support model. This is the best case scenario because the whole model is white. Once the scan has been complete, so we start meshing. The mesh has been generated, so it looks quite good. And uh, now we are going to save this mesh into exporting formats right now we have uh, multiple exporting formats we are going for PLY STL and OBJ my uh, priority would be OBJ because it saves materials as well so we are going to save the model first and let's see what what is uh, actually we are getting from this portable scanner so coming towards the mesh mixer i have imported the model and let's look uh, let's have a look on the wireframe override as you can see over here uh, the polygons are quite distributed so we need to rearrange it and because uh, for doing any design work you need to remesh this whole model to be into the proper polygonal shapes so let's see how it turns up Now our model is looking quite good and quite detailed. The polygons are quite detailed and distributed very well. I don't see any overlapping surface or any missing part, which is really very nice. Now I have remeshed the whole surface to make it uh, more applicable to the design work. So I just convert this whole model into some pattern kind of thing. As you can see over here, the whole patterns are looking really nice and uh, I think so it is now good to go for any design related work yeah the polygons are quite detailed so this is uh, I guess uh, all about this portable scanner well thank you so much for watching